Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor. Hallelujah. You know, God was talking to me, says, whatever you feed on, that's what you become. What are you feeding on? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I want to read a scripture. Start off with a scripture, please. Praise God. How are you doing this Sabbath? Hallelujah. Praise God. So again, um, the title is, What Are You Feeding On? So Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test, notice it says, test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Are you in the will of God? That's what God told me to ask you this morning. Are you in his perfect will? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about his permissive will. Permissive will meaning I, I'm going to let you do that, even though that, that thing there right there, that's going to hurt you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God was saying they're not renewing their minds. You cannot do this. You cannot walk and live as God will have you if you don't renew your mind. That's why it's imperative that you get in that Bible like never before. It's imperative that you fast like never before. It's imperative that you make good choices like never before. In order to do what you have never done, you will have to, you will, in order to get where you have never been, you have to do what you've never done, thus saith the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you feeding on? Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going to slow this thing down a little bit because I get excited. You know I do. Are you feeding on porn? Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because now you, you're letting everything spirit of nastiness spirit of lust spirit of adultery succubus and incubus demons when you are anything that you are feeding on you will automatically become god says come on somebody hallelujah he says what have you been feeding on lately oh come on somebody hallelujah are you feeding on the word of god and whose table are you eating at god says come on somebody because some of you agree that y'all want to eat a little bit here a little bit there a little bit everywhere god says that you have to eat at a table that you know Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You know what the food is. Uh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. You know who's preparing it. What source? Because you see, y'all don't mind resources, but what y'all never asked is, what source is the resource coming from? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to go behind that thing. Oh, come on, somebody. God says, got to start asking questions in order to go to this next season. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. In order to go to this next season, you're going to have to be diligent in the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. He said, come on back to your first love. A lot of you are running after things. A lot of you are running after people, things. I'm talking about houses, cars, whatever you think that makes you happy. He says, and to be honest with you, they can't do you like I do you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because let me tell you something. This thing called life, sooner or later, you're going to run into a test or a trial that will hit you to the core of your spirit. A man can't help you. A woman can't help you. Money can't help you. Honey can't help you. Y'all ain't ready for me. The only one that can do that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God says they've left their first love, Deanna. He said, they, they don't, how, thank you, Lord. When the last time you got up and just said, thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking me up this morning. God, I thank you for food and shelter. Do you really pray before you eat? God, I thank you for this food because somebody somewhere is starving. God, I thank you for the clothes, Father God. Some people ain't got no clothes. God, I thank you for the home because some people are homeless. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. He says, have you been thankful lately? What have you been feeding on? The enemy has come into the church. The enemy has come into our homes. The enemy has come, and what he's trying to do is separate us from God. And what he does is he uses your desires. Come on, somebody. We see that in James chapter one. He says, don't, don't, don't say that when you are tempted, you are tempted by God. He said, because God cannot be tempted and neither he tempt any of us. He said, but you are drawn away from your own lust. Come on, somebody. And enticed. And he said, when that thing is finished, then it's a full blown sin. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Every day, it's time for you to do a checkup from the neck up. Am I living pleasantly unto God? Am I doing what God have called me to do? Or am I doing my own thing? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Because truth be told, when you really walk for God, when you really live for God, it's not easy. It's hard. Because guess what? It's his will. It's not your will. You see, a lot of people, they, 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 they see people having fun. 
And I'm not saying that the kingdom of God, you won't smile, you won't have rewards. But truth be told, you're going to be fasting. You're going to be praying. You're going to be warring. You're going to be down on your face. Oh, hallelujah. That's the true nature of a Christian. I don't know this new Christian style where, you know, uh, the prophets have shelves and everybody's just having a good time and they vacay, whatever. Then when warfare come, nobody strong enough to stand. Nobody can pray that thing through. Nobody can actually lay hands on you. This stuff real. Hallelujah. I said, come on back to your first love. Let, let me heal you where you've been hurt. Let me build you up where you've been torn down. Let me renew your strength. Let me blow a fresh wind on you. Hallelujah. And build you up in the most holy faith, said God. The world will tear you down little by little by little. Very subtle. You see, the enemy don't come. The enemy will come through family, through friends, through co-workers, through lovers, through husbands, through wives. Y'all ain't ready for me. Tearing you down slowly until you feel like you have nothing, until you feel like you are nothing. So I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But God says, I've come that you might have life and more abundantly. Hallelujah. He said, but, but you got to do this thing my way. You can't do it the world's way. That's what happened. That's why there's a crack in the foundation. Because the world then came into the church and said, this is how you should do it. And all he did was separate us from Christ. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, because the true anointing of God is order. And if there's no order, there's no God. I don't care what you say, hallelujah. And then y'all connected with any and everybody. Can I tell you something about Apostle Deanna Dixon? Y'all could talk about me. Y'all could say this. I really don't care. Subliminal messages, whatever. I catch it all. But one thing you will never be able to say is that I stray to the left or I stray to the right. Because anybody that comes near me, I'm checking you. I'm checking you. I'm checking everything. These big eyes are watching everything you say and do, what you don't say and what you don't do. You got to do this in this hour. You can't let everything in your camp. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all let everybody in y'all lives. Oh, I'm going here. I feel the power of God. Oh, he fine. She fine. Or they got a good credit score. Or, or my family likes them. Honey, let me tell you something. If you can't, oh, I feel the power of God. Some of you didn't got with people that only because it feels good. Oh, I'm going here. Only because y'all got a good arrangement. But they cannot gird you in the spirit. Can I tell you something? That's why marriages are falling apart. Because here's the deal. Y'all married for love. You didn't wait for God. Because here's the deal. This is how love works. Oh, come on, somebody. You see, there's different eros. Eros, uh, I'm going to love you today, but I'm going to leave you tomorrow. You see, y'all didn't, didn't understand agape love. You see, that agape love is the God time love. Well, well I, I know sometimes I might not love you. I know sometimes we might not be on one accord, but I can gird you in the spirit. There it is. Even in a friendship, I'm going to tell you something. This is very, very, very real. You know why most of you are stressed and angry? Because you have allowed people to get close to you that cannot gird you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I did it about four or five years ago. I, I, I wanted to be like many Jesus, you know what I'm saying? So I was just, oh, I love them. They love me. And I mean, I call them close cuts. They were just uh, sticking me with that night. And, 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 and you got to understand, when you get stuck, you start bleeding everywhere. Come on, somebody, how do you start bleeding everywhere? And so here I am. I, I, I said, God, what happened? He said, Deanna, you let him get close to you. I said, but God, he said, no, no, no. He said, anything weak can be used against you. He said, so you need strong friends. He said, you need friends that know me. He said, that can pay you through some things. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, and I pray on you. Huh, there it is. Y'all choosing the wrong ones. Or y'all choose people because they got money. Oh, or they got a name, or they famous. Y'all ain't ready for me. I've learned this thing. You got to choose people that see God. No, no, no. That love God more than they love you. Because if they love God more than they love you, they're going to know how to treat you. They're going to know how to gird you. They're going to know how to pray for you. They're going to know how to back up. They're going to know how to come close. They're going to know how to challenge you. They're going to know how to say, I don't understand because God said this. Oh, but a lot of people like the, the yes. Yes, 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 apostle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, baby. If you're telling me yes all the time, I know you're lying. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because I ain't never met nobody that was always right, and I ain't never met nobody that was always wrong. Somebody lying up in here. Tell me about myself. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to tell you about yours. That's foundational love. That's agape love. Hallelujah.
but we don't want that no more. We want somebody to, to stroke our egos. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, count the cost. God said, come closer. Come closer. Where we getting ready to go, you're going to need the anointing of God. Money can't do this. A man can't do this. A woman can't do this. Nothing. Not even your reputation. It's going to be the anointing of God that back up the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you something. In case you don't know about me, I don't let nobody come between me and God. And if you try it, I promise you, you will lose. Mother, father, brother, sister, daughter, it does not matter. I'm sold on this thing, and you better learn to be sold too. And I check everything at that gate. And if it don't look like God, you can might as well just turn your little stuff around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, check the gates. Check the gates. Who let them in the gate? Hallelujah. Who let them in the gate? That's why we call the gatekeepers. But to be honest with you, the gatekeepers, they down the street. They, 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 they in the club. They, they, they doing other stuff. They ain't keeping no gates, y'all. Hallelujah. Nobody playing up in here. Where are the gatekeepers? You get your gate is open. People just coming in, going out, coming in, going out. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God say. Woo. My God, my God, my God, my God. We better get it together. Because if y'all don't see the signs of the times, they're here. They're here. And Jesus say, I, I go to my father so that you can do greater works. So I ask, where are the greater works, church? Hallelujah. Where are the greater works? Where is the anointing? Who has truly the anointing? I'm not talking about who can draw a crowd. Oh, come on, somebody. I just said something. Hello? I wonder why people are not getting healed and delivered for real. I'm not talking about for play. I'm talking about for real. And how you know? Because when tests and trials come, they they, they they not going just in it. They not wavering. They standing, standing with tears in my eyes. I'm standing by myself. It does not matter. I will stand for the Lord. Hallelujah. Sitting up there playing games. Y'all playing them games. And you wonder why you you know why you can't take nothing because you ain't got nothing in you. If you ain't got no word, you can't stand on the word. If you ain't got no anointing, you can't stand for nothing. You'll fall for anything. Hallelujah. Running around talking about you saved. Honey, you ain't saved more than a man in the moon. Yeah, I said it. My God, my God. All right, that's all I got to say. I'm telling you, God said, come back. Come back to your first love. Renew your mind. Touch not the unclean thing. He said, return to me. I love you. He said, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chastise you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We don't like that part. We just want God to bless us. But he said, the blessing is in correction. He said, to be honest with you, most of y'all don't want to be corrected. You see, God will check it, inspect it, and correct it when you're really living for him. You go in a valley, out of valley, in a valley, out of valley. You want to know why people fall? Because most of the time, God is doing spiritual surgery. He's taking something out, putting something in. Taking something out, putting something in. But I'm going to tell you what has happened. You have spiritual giants, but it's just an illusion. Meaning that first sign of warfare, and this is why people are not anointed the way they used to be. The first sign of warfare, y'all back up. Oh, it back you up. You're scared, huh? Honey, don't you know that that's when you get stronger? I, I might be stumbling, but I'm here. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I, I, I might be looking crazy, but I'm here. I, I ain't backed up, honey. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You know how they say we fall down, but we get up, hallelujah. You got to get back up. Too many of y'all staying down. No, honey, you got to get back up every time the enemy so say, oh, hallelujah. And you can only do that by the power of God. We don't have that type of power just by ourselves. That's why he says, Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, not ours, because we're not that great. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you right now, everybody don't like this kind of teaching. I know they don't. <laughs> all right. Well, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, that's what I was supposed to say. Hold on. You see the Holy Spirit stop me. Um, Y'all know classes start on the 12th. On the 11th. I'm starting a 14-day Daniel fast from the 11th 
to the 24th. So again, from the 11th to the 24th, okay? From the so so y'all be for that pagan holiday y'all could eat okay <laughs> but um then notice when I call fasts back to back to back like this God is God is preparing us for something it's not just dieting not trying to look good you understand what I'm saying I mean it's healthy too praise God hallelujah but God is trying to get us somewhere God is strengthening us He says strengthen your hands for war <laughs> hallelujah so God bless you God keep you this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. We're all lot soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. They doing it again with my computer, y'all. <laughs> all right. God bless.